May the 4th be with you. Today is Star Wars Day and Citizen have announced four new watches in their Suno collection of watches. That is their Bullhead Chronograph collection. And these are inspired by the dark and the light side. We're getting two watches for each. Let's take a look and see what they're offering. So as I mentioned in the intro, today we're getting four new watches in the Star Wars collection. These are bull head chronographs. These are powered by a quartz movement. There are two from the light and two from the dark side. The two from the light side are our favorite droids, R2-D2 and C-3PO. So according to Citizen, the R2-D2 watch has a raised design echoing the panels on R2-D2's body, and the white dial is accented by R2-D2's distinctive blue and red. The sub-dial at the six o'clock position also has a miniature R2-D2. The C-3PO version gets a dial that features C-3PO's gold color, and a dual-layered structure provides an almost three-dimensional version of C-3PO's face. The sub-dials, or the eyes, feature a loom that glows in the dark. So the actual subdials of this chronograph will glow in the dark and look like C-3PO's eyes, which glow with a little bit of light. Pretty awesome. Then there's the dark side. We get Darth Maul and Darth Vader. So the Darth Maul incorporates the distinctive red and black of Darth Maul's face and his yellow horns on the dial, the pushers, and the crown. The watch evokes the powerful and dangerous nature of Darth Maul with a colorful eye-catching design. Then there is Darth Vader. The design of this watch evokes different aspects of Darth Vader's story. The color of the chronograph hands echo Darth Vader's transformation from Jedi to Sith. And the sub-dials feature design elements from his iconic armor. So that is in an all black. It looks pretty cool as well. My favorite out of the bunch has to be that C-3PO with those sub dials that actually glow with loom really cool idea the whole thing is very uniform it looks like c3po on your wrist now all of these are sort of understated i really do like the look of them i'm not sure that anybody would immediately know they are star wars watches and i kind of like that when you look at the details you will realize they are Star Wars, and that is awesome. These are very familiar cases that we are used to from their bullhead line of quartz chronographs. They're 38 millimeters, 42 millimeters lug to lug, 11.7 millimeters thick, 50 meters of water resistance. You're getting a mineral crystal on these. These do wear smaller than their said dimensions, so that 38 millimeters is a little bit deceiving. These probably wear in the neighborhood of around 36 or 37 millimeters because of that short lug to lug. You also get a rolled steel bracelet on these, very vintage looking bracelet. So definitely something to keep in mind, not the highest end bracelet, but it kind of goes with the design. It kind of goes with the look. And I do like a rolled steel bracelet. I think they're very comfortable in my opinion. Now, I really like what Citizen are doing with Star Wars. I like what they're doing with Marvel and Disney as well. I'm not a huge fan of what Disney is doing with Star Wars. However, that is a different conversation to have but I do like the collaboration between Citizen and Marvel and Star Wars and Disney because they're doing a really good job with their watches. Uh, and I like the direction that they're going in. Not, not that I could say that for the Star Wars franchise, unfortunately. But like I said, I do like these watches. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of these watches? Prices on these are gonna be pretty good. They're in line with what they currently are for these watches uh, without the collaboration. So they're like $350 for the stainless steel versions. Anything that is plated, those are $375. So not astronomical prices, very good prices actually, and very good looking watches in my opinion. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Happy May the 4th, may the 4th be with you. Uh, if you are a Star Wars fan, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then uh, I'm sorry. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. Thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.